as, as they break and come apart, they will release fibers that will end up in people's drinking water. Uh, when you hear the word asbestos, you, you probably do not think about your drinking water, but almost 2,000 miles of pipes carrying tap water in the city of San Diego are made from asbestos. They're made from it. Now, for nearly a year, Team 10 investigator Austin Gravish has been digging into the cancer risk some scientists believe the aging pipes pose tonight. He shows us the concern from one of the world's leading experts on asbestos and tells us why others believe more research is needed. We don't trust the tap water, so we purchase a lot of waters from uh, the stores. Deacon Perry Owens Sr. spends a lot of money on bottled water and time refilling this cooler inside his San Diego home. So you don't ever drink the tap water? Unfortunately, not. His reason? It has a, a smell to it, a stench to it. But that smell is no longer Owen's only concern. The pipes that carry most of the drinking water in San Diego are made of asbestos. What do you think about that? That blows my mind. Beneath the streets of America's finest city, some warn there is a hidden danger aging asbestos concrete pipes. As, as they break and come apart, they will release fibers that will end up in people's drinking water. Fibers roughly 1,000 times thinner than a human hair. While the science is not yet conclusive, Dr. Arthur Frank says do not underestimate their danger. The fibers end up in the body tissues. Uh, people have found it in uh, uh, the esophagus and colorectal tissue. Frank is one of the world's leading experts on the health implications of asbestos. He's been studying the deadly mineral for more than 50 years and is a professor at Drexel University in Philadelphia. Asbestos is a known carcinogenic that causes cancer. Why is it being allowed in the pipes that hold our drinking water? Uh, asbestos cement pipe uh, was utilized uh, going back 50 and more years because uh, the use of asbestos makes the pipes uh, lighter, cheaper to make, easier to handle. It's estimated there are more than 630,000 miles of asbestos pipes still buried under streets like this across the country. Those pipes are starting to break and frequently raising concern asbestos is now leaching into the water supply. Team 10 obtained more than 100 photos of broken asbestos concrete pipes through a public records request with the city of San Diego. The images show the buried asbestos water lines, first installed after World War II, are cracking as they now reach the end of their life. The pipes are leaving some streets looking like rivers when they break. Over the past decade, public records show 440 water main breaks in the city's asbestos pipes. Street flooding like this could be getting worse unless big changes are made at San Diego's City Hall. In 2014, a grand jury investigating disruptions from water main breaks told the city of San Diego to speed up its replacement of asbestos pipes, even warning the city may be on the verge of a piping crisis. Since then, the city has replaced 144 miles of asbestos pipes. Water main breaks have gone down 40%. But the work is far from over. There are nearly 2,000 miles of asbestos pipes that still need to be replaced. How big of a national problem is this? 600,000 uh, miles of asbestos cement pipe uh, leaching asbestos out on a regular basis into the water supply uh, has the potential for being a, a serious problem. Inhaling asbestos can cause cancer. The evidence is clear, no debate. But could drinking water tainted with asbestos do the same? That is a matter of fierce debate among researchers. Dr. Frank believes swallowing asbestos fibers from tap water can lead to several cancers, and so do other important researchers. The World Health Organization says several studies from 1960 to 1980 in the U.S. and Canada suggested a link between tap water and stomach cancer. 
In the San Francisco Bay Area, one study found a significant link between asbestos in water and rates of lung, gallbladder, and pancreatic cancers. And in Italy, just seven years ago, a researcher found water contaminated with asbestos could be linked to gastrointestinal cancers. Pregnant women will pass some asbestos through their placenta into their unborn babies. These are stillbirths. Uh, babies never took a breath of life and couldn't have inhaled any asbestos, and yet asbestos was found in their body tissues. You're saying that asbestos fibers are being found in stillborn babies. There's at least two papers in the scientific literature that document that. And here's something else that may surprise you. The EPA sets a cap on how much asbestos is allowed in drinking water. The national maximum is 7 million of those microscopic fibers per liter of water. It's thought that anything more may be dangerous. Team 10 wanted to know how much asbestos could be getting into San Diego's water. I filed public records requests asking for test results. This document shows from 2020 to 2024, the city took nine tests. A trace amount of asbestos was found in one sample in 2021. For a city of 1.3 million people uh, doing one or two or you know, a small number of tests per year uh, is totally inadequate. Frank says the city needs to be testing water after it's gone through those aging pipes and arrived at your tap. I asked for a response to that. The Public Utilities Department told Team 10 roughly 15% of all water mains in North America are made of asbestos. A spokesperson said the city complies with all federal and state drinking water regulations. The quality of the city's water meets all federal and state standards. But in research circles, all of this is up for debate. Some studies have cast doubt that drinking asbestos can be harmful. I turned to the American Cancer Society to get help unraveling this. With the scientific evidence that we have today, we really cannot say with any degree of certainty that ingesting asbestos through drinking water causes cancer. Dr. Lauren Terrace is the Senior Director of Epidemiology and is based in Atlanta. She explained the weakness with some of the studies suggesting the cancer link. You can really run into trouble and make assumptions about causation when things are really caused by something else. The problem, she says, is researchers have not definitively found drinking asbestos causes cancer. But she's not ruling out the possibility. It's something she says would take decades to properly study. It could be embedded into the lining of their stomach and in 20, 30 years lead to a cancer. It's possible. Uh, we really can't say without studying it. And Terrace agrees with Dr. Frank on this. The fact that we know that asbestos is harmful to humans when it is inhaled means that we should try to eliminate asbestos exposure as much as possible. Frank, who has been looking at the ingestion of asbestos since the 1960s, is not backing down. He has this message for residents in cities with aging asbestos pipes who are concerned about their drinking water. The filters you put on the sink or uh, filters that uh, make ice cubes or uh, the filters that people have on their uh, uh, water containers uh, will tend to take out many of these fibers. Back in Owen's home, he says he'll keep buying bottled water and is urging politicians to act. Let's not even take the risk. Let's not, let's not risk our bodies and our legacies, our kids. Hidden beneath the streets of America's finest city, a potentially serious but hidden health risk. Austin Gravish, Team 10. The city of San Diego tells Team 10 it cost five to six million dollars for every mile of asbestos pipe that is replaced. Since 2014, the city has replaced 144 miles of the water mains. At this rate, it will likely be decades before all the pipes in San Diego are replaced.